Whisper Adair is a devilishly beautiful comic book assassin who has had multiple run-ins with the famous Bat family. Whisper Adair's past is almost completely unknown to most people. She was one of the countless lone youngsters discovered by the legendary League of Assassins and taught to become new members. Whisper Adair is a ruthless and remorseless assassin, a killer who derives joy from inflicting misery on others and who seeks religious justification for her actions by embracing the cult of Cain. She can also fascinate and mesmerize people with her hypnotic voice and capture their attention only by making eye contact. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small kick for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Exploring the origins of Whisper Adair We may deduce from the way that Whisper actually enunciates the letter S with a long and slow drawl that she has a few noticeable serpentine characteristics which set her apart from other villains in comic books, television and movies. Keeping this in mind, let us find out who Whisper actually is. Whisper Adair's background is almost completely unknown. She was just one of many abandoned children taken by the powerful League of Assassins and taught to turn into new recruits and she, in some mysterious ways, managed to impress their boss, a wicked man named Ra's al Ghul, who appointed her as one of her star agents. Whisper turned into a superb assassin under Ra's instructions and was then rewarded with the possession of a unique and powerful serum that provided her with her immortal master's endless lifespan, as well as genetic augmentation from deadly snakes. Whisper Adair, who was now a human-snake hybrid known by the name Snake Fatal, teamed up with the powerful and wicked werewolf hybrid Kyle Abbott to form a dangerous partnership. During another confrontation between Ra's al Ghul and his unwilling successor Batman, the formidable DC superhero had to face Abbott and Whisper. He managed to defeat them in a battle even though they had such powerful enhancements. In addition to this, he even decided to offer them liberty from their controlling overlord, but Whisper confidently rejected the hero's assistance and proceeded to leave the League of her own free will. Even though she never abandoned the journey of fulfilling her bloodlust, it was quite the contrary. Abbott and Whisper discovered a new calling throughout all of the time they had spent apart from the deadly League of Assassins, one that validated their style of living and showed them a brand new meaningful direction when they encountered the infamous religion of crime, a strange cult that honoured Cain and the two of them embraced it with a dedicated mind. As all genuine believers, they demonstrated tremendous devotion and piety, at least by Cult of Cain standards, and were gifted with top-ranking status inside the Intergang, which was the cult's military force. Following the orders of the Intergang, Whisper proceeded to the city of Gotham and then took over the complete control of HSC International Banking, which was a clandestine business for the wicked cult and utilized it to swamp the city's street with cutting-edge weapons, which was utilized by the city's many, many city gangs to escalate their turf battles. So far, all was going on as per the cult's meticulous plans until a handful of cops discovered a relationship between the local gangs and her firm. Renee Montoya, who was a GCPD investigator, had teamed up with her personal investigator named The Question and then in conjunction, they had discovered that the HSC banking business was funding and arming street gangs. The intelligent duo then proceeded to make the information readily available to the public, but Whisper Adair had fled Gotham before they could attempt to capture her. Thus, the intergang's final aim remained unknown, despite everyone's best efforts. Despite her seeming failure, Whisper's ability to safeguard the cult worked to her advantage, and she rose through the ranks, eventually becoming the head priestess of the cult's branch in an area named Kandak. She utilized her snake charm to influence street youngsters, turning them into devoted intergang operatives and followers. On the other hand, The Question and Montoya hadn't given up their search for her, and they tracked her down in Kandak, at which point they formed a partnership with the country's royal pair, Isis and Black Adam. Whisper was compelled to run away once more, but this time her allegiance was duly rewarded by Bruno Mannheim, who was the preacher of the infamous cult of Cain. He summoned her back to the city of Gotham, in which she had finally read the messianic lines from Cain's Bible. The foretold, twice-named child of Cain had been recognized as Kate Cain, the one who wore the Batwoman cape, and Adair was required to execute a dark ceremony, sacrifice Kate, and destroy Gotham in a pit of fire. Detective Montoya continued to follow Whisper's trail, and she had the Bat family following her. When Mannheim failed to murder Kate Cain, Abbott changed his mind and decided that the book named Bible of Cain intended for the girl to actually be alive. 
alive and the werewolf proceeded to betray Mannheim and Whisper and assisted Nightwing and Montoya in saving Batwoman as well as the city. During the scuffle, Whisper Adair tumbled into the flaming pit she had created for the city of Gotham and barely managed to survive. She was badly burned but was saved by Razal Gold's serum and brought back to good health by what was now left of the intergang. As soon as she was back on her two feet, she was transported to Zambesi, which was a location in Africa, to assist a local tyrant named Aku Kwezi in seizing control of the area. Vixen summoned the entirety of the Justice League to assist her to fight the intergang. However, the Snake Fadal had prepared for them and proceeded to use her poison to corrupt Black Canary and Superman, turning them against their comrades, and she wouldn't have lost, not again, with such heavy hitters on her side. Looking back at her first comic book appearance, this wickedly powerful villainess makes her first comic book appearance in Detective Comics' first volume in issue number 743. In this issue, Russell Gould dispatches two of his men inside Gotham City, equipped with a stash of elixir which should have lasted them about 20 weeks. As part of their aim in getting rid of the five organized and powerful criminal groups that have been slicing apart and causing havoc in Gotham City for the previous three months and making them turn against each other to destabilize them. Whisper Adair, who is a member of one of the groups runs into Bruce Wayne while at the gala inauguration of the enormous Gotham Public Library, at which point she sets off alarm bells for both Barbara Gordon and him. At this point, it is evident that a vast social divide is forming between those who remained in Gotham over the horrible year before and others who fled but now have come back, and these individuals are the so-called DZs. At about the same time as the event, Al Ghul's second operative, who was named Kyle Abbott, assaults the wicked Lucky Hand Triad's commander Ekin Su's house, murdering his wife and sparing only one guy to live, informing him of the fact that he was dispatched by the Russians. Afterwards, Batman is seen on patrol and he stops at the Able Crown Youth Center, which is supported by the Burnley Town Massive's leader. When he notices an open entrance, he investigates and runs with Abbott, who takes on a semi-bestial shape when he attacks Batman. Abbott exits setting off a tremendous explosion saying goodbye detective and blows the place up with Batman inside. The subsequent comic issue continues to talk about her story in detail. In the issue, Kyle Abbott and Whisper Adair carry on their master's ambitions for Gotham City, convincing gang bosses Abel Crown and Ekin Su that their enemies, the Odessa mob as well as the Escobedo cartel were responsible for the death of Su's wife and the destruction of Crown's youth facility. Whisper persuades Su that he was sent by the gods to help him and she demonstrates a snake-like capability to spit deadly poison. The police, along with Batman, investigate the explosion and deaths, and after gathering several clues, Batman concludes that Razal Gul is to blame. Elsewhere, Abbott abducts Emmanuel Escobedo and Vasily Kozov and hands them over to their opponents, who murder them in horrific ways for their alleged deeds. At that point, Batman faced Whisper, attempting to learn what she is truly up to in his city, and as a result, he was unable to stop the murders of Kozov and Escobedo. Batman comes in too late to help them and Whisper takes advantage of the opportunity to run away and keep her secrets safe. We're getting away! She also starred in the Young Justice animated series. In the first season and 17th episode of the Young Justice series, Whisper makes her very first appearance. Whisper is depicted as a Caucasian lady with very long red-colored hair and a delicate white complexion. She's dressed in grey cargo trousers and a form-fitting black blazer. Whisper was a member of a crew who tunneled beneath the ground of the Metropolis Federal Reserve to loot it. When the Forever People and Superboy halted them, Whisper was unfortunately left behind by her escaping master, Bruno Mannheim. She was disarmed and apprehended. Though she vehemently assured the insistent Forever People, she would just not speak. Dreamer's mental skills forced her to expose their actual master, Desaad. She reveals to Superboy that in fact the new gods are from two home worlds, New Genesis, which is home to the powerful gods of life, and another land named Apocalypse, which is home to the gods of anti-life. Desaad is Apocalypse's top torturer and divine scientist. What makes her so powerful, mind control, sometimes known as brainwashing, is a word used to explain Whisper's ability to commandeer the mental capabilities of other humans and even superheroes. Whisper has long been classified as a seductress, thus once she has made contact with the target, she may rely on her allure and voice to hold him or her enslaved. She is also immortal, meaning she will never age or die. This is not to say she will never die in other ways, even if they are conventional, but the usual course of aging cannot kill her. It's unclear where and how Whisper acquires the serum after Ra's death. Her abilities are psionic in nature, but they may also be used in mystical ways. 
Whisper is a feminine and lovely redhead who is an ageless shapeshifter who often uses Ra's serum. She's not afraid to use the art of persuasion to accomplish her aims in tasks that need her to work incognito. She's also capable of spewing snake venom. Before the happenings of 52, she demonstrates various snake skills, such as spraying acid venom in the faces of her enemies or slaves that irritate her, including people like Abbott, killing or crippling them. The exact extent of her existing powers is still unclear because she likes to avoid any combat by relying on her deceiving defenseless look and mind control talents, always having a small number of throwaway minions with her or escaping just before being detected. She is at the minimum 80 years old but appears to be in her mid-twenties and she keeps her appearance attractive by losing her skin in a manner similar to that of a snake. She is also quite seductive and will pretend to seduce you before killing you. She is also resilient to poisons and entirely immune to them. She also possesses the capacity to produce poisonous secretions from her body, which is known as toxikinesis. She can switch between her ordinary human appearance and a serpentine form with slit-like eyes and a split tongue using her shape-shifting abilities. Whisper also possesses seductive abilities, which allows her to purposefully convince others to engage in certain behaviors and act in accordance with her wishes. Whisper appears to have some type of mesmerization or mind control that relies on eye-to-eye -eye contact, since Whisper is incapable of controlling the faceless personal investigator question, but is successful in getting Renee to divulge her name. She can also bend and twist her human and snake-like bodies in spectacular ways. Unique physiology, which is sometimes mistaken with alien physiology, is a word used to define her nature, which, thanks to the elixir, permits her to have some advantages over regular human individuals. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.